Could this be the sound of Manchester's car revolution? The number of electric vehicles is rising exponentially, thanks to Greater Manchester's charging network, which is one of the best in the UK. The network was built and launched by Transport for Greater Manchester in 2013. Philip Messi has been driving his EV in the city and beyond ever since those early days. It's very similar to any other car, apart from it's very quiet, uh, it doesn't smell and it's very smooth, there's no vibrations. For, for moving about the city, it's a wonderful experience, it's quick off. Having an electric car in Greater Manchester is incredibly convenient. Most of, of the journeys that you do from the regions into, into the city centre, uh, 20 to 30 miles, a car can, most electric cars can happily do 60 to 100 miles without needing a recharge. So for the majority of people, and even for us, we were quite happily able to drive from home into town and back again without having to worry about charging up. The advantage of having such a good public charging infrastructure is that if we do want to go and do other things later in the evening or later in the day, we know that the car's pretty much always fully charged and ready to go. The Messi family switched to electric from a 4x4 diesel. He says it's not just about zero emissions, it's about saving cash. Before we purchased the, the electric car, we did look at a comparable sized cars that, that run on, on leaded and that were very efficient. It is a lot cheaper to run. We were previously paying £2,500 a year for diesel. We now pay about £400 a year extra on, on our electricity bill for, for charging the car every night at home. TFGM's charging network consists of more than 350 standard charging points where users can charge their car for free. The only cost is the £10 annual membership fee. You can also use a mobile app to locate charging bays, including the three fast chargers which take only 20 minutes to fill a battery against the three to six hours of standard chargers. Free electricity and government grants for the purchase of these otherwise expensive vehicles have driven the number of these cars from practically zero to over 500 in Greater Manchester in three years. The use of electricity by EVs has so far been modest. Within a year, Greater Manchester's EVs used just shy of 173,000 kilowatt hours of electricity in total. If you take a rough average of 450 EVs, the amount of electricity to power a family car accounted for a modest 8% of the average power consumption of a UK household. With relatively low cost electricity and an improving infrastructure, switching to an electric vehicle seems like a no-brainer. But as long as electricity comes from non-renewable sources, electric cars can only save us pollution directly on the road. But even when powered with conventional electricity, Low emission vehicles emit 40% less CO2 than comparable petrol or diesel cars. Yet there are still practical limits to the spread of EVs, such as the limited time you can spend in some of Manchester's charging bays, the future cost of electricity, as well as our deeply entrenched behaviours. Range is an issue, but as a city car, you know, you can do 100 miles on a full battery charge. We, I don't do 100 miles a day, I think people are still concerned that if you run out of battery, um, you're stuck. But I don't think it's, it doesn't happen like that. I mean, most people's daily commute isn't generally more than 100 miles. If it is, then you know there are you can still use these cars. But it's it's a it's about behaviour change. Behaviour change is the issue. I think that if, if the cost of, of charging an electric car becomes too close to the cost of, of using diesel or petrol for most people, myself included, I don't think I would pay for the inconvenience of having to stop on a, on a longer journey and charge up for, for 20 minutes every 80 miles or so. The government expects that by 2040 all new cars sold in the UK will be electric or ultra low emission. Will Manchester lead the way? Adam Fargash, that's Manchester.